from the Rush Center in Green Bay, Wisconsin, it's time for Phoenix basketball. Tonight, the Green Bay men look for their third straight home victory as they play host to Stetson. Hello, everyone. Ted Stefaniak alongside former Phoenix player Cordero Barkley. CB's second game in four days for these Phoenix men. We saw them mature a lot in their comeback win over Florida A&M on Friday. Yeah, rough first half. The second half, they really stuck their toes in the dirt defensively and grinded out some stops. Khalil Small with 16 points and seven rebounds. Phoenix are 2-2 two two on the early season as we take a look at the starters. One of the guys to keep an eye on is sophomore Cam Hankerson. Yeah, Cam Hankerson, very versatile. Came in last game, only playing with multiple threes, 12 points, second leading scorer on his, on his Phoenix team. And the Phoenix hosting at Stetson tonight out of Central Florida. The Hatters are four and three on the season. Divine Miles, super player, he's their leading scorer. Yes, the senior, 5'11", averages 16 and a half points per game, three assists per game. And then they also have Angel Rivera, who is the catalyst of this team, averaging almost seven assists per game from the point guard position. Just the second meeting between these two schools. You gotta go back to 1971 to find the last time they met. And that was a one point victory for Green Bay. And they're saying Green Bay, <laughs> I'm sorry, stole the tip here. You can't steal the tip, Ted. You can't start the games off with the officials like that, right? <laughs> Get them all worked one up. One second into the game. <laughs> 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 so Stetson in their green uniforms will have the possession after whatever violation that was on the tip. <laughs> and we are underway. This non-conference game. Drive by Glassford. Kick to the corner. Luke Doyle misses. Manny Patterson had it for a moment. Jesperson collects it. Yeah, you're gonna see both teams wanna get up and down and play fast. And again, Stetson a little bit more opportunistic in transition. David Jesperson missed the shot. Khalil Small with the offensive rebound and put back. And Khalil Small, that's what he does. He's uh, turned into a great rebounder from the guard position, averaging nine rebounds per game. Khalil with seven rebounds on Friday, five of those seven, offensive. So he picks up right where he left off. Great dish inside, and we'll get a traveling call against Larry Dennis. And yeah, just got happy feet down there. That's a good look, though. You see already, though, Stetson making an effort to get two feet in the paint, and they're looking to collapse the defense and kick. Cam Hankerson talked about him in the pregame. Nice pass inside to Jesperson. That was too easy. Oh, yeah, a little gator action there on the weak side. Had a little up screen from the block to the opposite elbow, bringing uh, Jesperson into that post area. He just had the size advantage over Rivera. Going to win that battle every time. Phoenix out to a 4 nothing lead early goings. A little Monday night basketball, good take to the hoop, and that's B.J. Glassford. Yeah, Glassford's going to have that foot speed advantage in that area. I love getting athletic wings to post, or the ball in the high post, and giving them space to work. Glassford, a senior out of Miami. And those first points of the game. Had four points against North Dakota State, their last opponent. Hankerson, how strong on that take. Haven't seen Cam really attack the, the paint very much this season. No, he likes to pull up, and if he does get to the rack, he's usually driving the kick. Patterson collects the rebound off the missed three. Small, out to P.J. Pipes, the freshman. Short on the three, Jesperson tries to keep it alive. And then rebounded by Dennis. And you like to see him go get that with two hands. Not able to collect. Divine Miles gives it up. Doyle will take the 15-footer. Jesperson with the rebound. Here's Small. Now Hankerson. That's a quality look for Hankerson. Hankerson has been knocked down from three. He's not able to get that one to go. And look at the space here for Stetson, though. I mean, you got four out, one in, ball screen action. And that's a good, good look. And that side, top side, into that ball screen by Dennis. And you had Doyle come off and knock that in from mid. After he missed a couple, too, just stay, stay consistent with hunting down his shot. 
Good looking shot, ties the game at four apiece. Here's Small spinning, then kicks out to Jesperson. He wants the three and is short. Miles ahead, easy layup on the backside for B.J. Glassford. Yeah, and that's the tough part when you have uh, Khalil Small and P.J. Pipes in together. Sometimes Khalil runs point, and when you're the point guard, you, you got to get back. You got to set the defense. Inside, Patterson, another easy bucket for him. Yeah, nice high, high low action. And again, I think the Phoenix will have that advantage inside, especially four through two, you know, getting the ball in the post. I think they'll have that advantage. You've got a great matchup of some seniors on the floor right now with Small and Miles. And P.J. Pipes trying to take that charge. Good no call. Dennis able to get into the sky hook. Small for three in the corner, and it is good. And again, you see Hankerson get two feet into the paint, pitch it to the, to the corner. Khalil Small, really good three-point shooter. We'll get a foul on one of the Phoenix players here. Some subs checking in. We'll tell you about them when we come back. There's a timeout on the floor. You're watching Phoenix basketball on ESPN3. Take the worry out of winter driving by riding on a new set of tires from Mills Fleet Farm. Need tires for your truck, car, or SUV? Get the tires you need at the prices you can afford. Fleet Farm carries all the best brands, Michelin, BF Goodrich, Cooper, Roadrunner, and many more. Stop in to see our full selection. If you have questions, our experienced team can help. Be safe. Be smart. Get the best tires at the best prices. Mills Fleet Farm. in Green Bay. Green Bay out to a one-point lead over Stetson. Early goings here in the first half. A little Monday night basketball coming off your Thanksgiving weekend. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Now we get into the kids going back to school and settling into a non-conference schedule here for the next month or so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you get back into your routine and into your flow as a student athlete. Phoenix players checking in during that last timeout, including T.J. Parham. Parham has been playing terrific for the for the Phoenix. I tell you what, he's been a spark off the bench, very skilled, can shoot the three. Glassford missed that shot. He was guarded by Trevian Bell. Parham well, lost the handle, got stuck on his hip, and that's a walk. And I love the investment, uh, the advancement of the ball, pitching it up the sideline. Uh, Khalil Small to Palm. Palm on the attack, that's what he does. I mean, he gets out in transition and attacks, and you know, for a young fella, every now and then he's going to make those mistakes. Suka Jock Baines also into the ball game for the Phoenix. Small grabs the rebound. Baines over to Palm. Palm coming off a nine point performance Friday against Florida A&M. Hankerson, jab step, pull up, no good. Rebound by Abiomi Eola. Yeah, you have fun with that one, I'm gonna stick with Eola. <laughs> he missed that layup the previous possession. He's a good looking player. Just that, a freshman out of Atlanta. He is not bad, that was a nice looking turnaround though. I really like that shot out of the post. Yola wears number 23 for Stetson and gets the rebound here. Here's Miles. 
ahead to a teammate. Miles will get the offensive rebound and the putback, his first points of the game, the leading scorer for Stetson. And you see a bad shot from the corner, and that led to that transition for Stetson. And again, when you have numbers, you have opportunities for offensive rebound. Miles able to collect the Riv Rivera miss. And yeah, you'll see they're going to call. That's an automatic now in college basketball. You don't get that close forearm on a defender. Good take by Hankerson. Here's Cam. Lost the handle for a moment, then it's stolen by Miles. Eola lost the handle, so some sloppy ball on both ends right now. Yeah, I'm not blaming Eola for that, though. Like the, was put in a bad position on the catch. Bell works his way into the paint. I'm not sure if Eola got a piece of that or not. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say he did. A lot of contact on that drive by Rivera. Kick to Miles, and he's got a three. And yeah, Miles, he can shoot it. Uh, he's not he's not a 40% shooter by any means, but he can put it in the hole. A quick foul on the other end on Stetson. I think this is going to be on Doyle. It is. Second team foul for Stetson. Doyle will go to the bench. Glassford comes back in. We're talking about Miles. I think we're going to call his name quite a bit tonight. Leading scorer for this team. Over 1,000 points in the season and actually closing in on a potential school record as Khalil Small knocks down his third basket of the game. Yeah, Miles can flat out play. And this whole Stetson, I mean, the Stetson, the whole starting five is a group full of seniors. So you got a bunch of old men that know how to play basketball. Miles hits Rivera there for the three, but all of them know how to hoop. Yep, and Rivera, another senior on that Stetson ro uh, roster. Angel Rivera. Turnover on the Phoenix. We got another substitution coming in. Yeah, you, you can't necessarily see it here, but he said Hankerson stepped on that line, and he's uh, had a little bit of a rough start. I feel like he's kind of pressing a little bit offensively to make things happen. He doesn't need to. He's uh, he's always been a kind of in the floor of the game type player, and that's how he, that's when he plays his best. Rivera drops off the pass. Iola had it for a moment, knocked out of his hands by Bell. Bell spinning, top of the key, nice move by the freshman, Trevian Bell. Yeah, Trev, he can get to any spot on the court with, with his body, and he's quick enough to get there, able to take some contact, create some space, elevate, put that little running hook in. Freshman out of Joliet, Illinois. Great pass on the back side, and they connect with Eola once again. And I love that action, that ball screen into the quick reversal, one-two. Had a hockey assist there. Phoenix trailing by five. Hunter Chris tries the baseline, kicks it back out to Bell. Bell for three, Eola with the rebound. Now Christian Jones, that's a long three. It was too strong on it. Chris with the rebound. Yeah, I love this tempo, though. This is fun basketball to watch at this pace. They do it without the turnovers. <laughs> Parham lost it. Here's Miles spinning in the paint, blocked by Baines. Miles stayed with it and rewarded himself. Yeah, and, and got to credit Baines for the hustle, but Miles with the stick with itness, able to stick with it, earn himself two more points in transition. Miles coming off a 24-point game against North Dakota State. We've got a timeout on the floor as you take a look at Christ going up with the shot. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. The Hatters of Stetson with a seven-point lead over the hometown Green Bay Phoenix. Now, tell you what, Coach Williams, he has to be happy with his team. I mean, they just went out to North Dakota State and got beat down in 94-58. And here, seven-point lead early in this game. 
you know, on the road. You got to be road warriors, and you got to make shots on the road, and they're doing that. You know, one of the nice things that Stetson has done this season, they're averaging less than 10 turnovers a game. One of the top stats in the country right now. But again, I think that's a sign of, one, a quality point guard in Rivera. But then, two, you have, again, a group full of seniors that understand how to play basketball the right way. Stetson with two turnovers in this game as Miles pushes the court once again. Keep an eye on that guy. He'll beat you down the floor. And he scores in bunches too. So, I mean, once he's kind of in a really good groove right now, it'll be interesting to see what the Phoenix do to make the adjustment to try to slow him down. Miles already with nine points in this game. When he started this game, he was 403 points shy of the school record. Patterson missed the shot, baby hook. That's a nice looking move. I mean, you live with that touch and that, sh that look every possession. Three freshmen on the floor right now and a red shirt sophomore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, youth in abundance for the Phoenix. Meanwhile, on the other end, Kenny Anigne with the three-pointer. It didn't take him long to, to get involved in the game when he came into the, into the contest. Another look. Well, you had P.J. Pipes again, freshman, not, not necessarily understanding the rotations yet. Again, early in the season for him. He goes over to helps, but he's one pass away still, even though he's in that ball screen action as a weak side defender. Now he goes over to help the roll, and he gives up the open three. Just the fifth three of the season for Anine. 44% three-point shooter. I want to say he looked confident. I mean, it didn't look like there was anything wrong with his shot. Sometimes you're just sitting in the bus looking at the stats, and you go, you know what? That guy can shoot a three. We need to get him some more looks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tell you what, Stetson, they, they, uh, they have their confidence going on both ends of the court right now. Pipes to Chris. Chris. The freshman out of Indiana knocks down a long three. We talk about out of timeout special teams, Ted, and uh, Coach Darner gets, a, gets Chris to look, and the freshman steps up and nails it when this team needed a bucket. First points of the night for Chris. He was held scoreless on Friday against Florida A&M. Yeah, he's a, he's a big-time shooter. And Chris on the other end with the defense. Yeah, you saw Matthews get stuck in the air there. Nothing really good ever happens when you leave your feet and make an unsure pass. Well, you just talked about defensive rotation. Chris with a pretty good job there. Here's a great move by Hankerson. Saw a little bit of an opening and took advantage of it. And, and, and Patterson should get the assist on that one. Posting so hard, kind of screened both players, the man he was guarding and the player guarding H Hankerson. Behind the back pass. And that will be a turnover. Yeah, yeah, two uncharacteristic turnovers from Stetson. Back to back there. You see Hangerson, look at Patterson there with the great post position. And sometimes that's why you post hard. I mean, it's not even to get yourself a shot, but you get your teammates look just from posting big and strong. Coach Corey Williams wasn't too happy with that behind the back pass in the paint. Miles says, I got you, coach. I'll get the steal on the other end. <laughs> Coach Darner's equally as mad. <laughs> step through, Keith Matthews with a strong finish. Love that Euro step in transition. Well, Pipes missed the three and Patterson's gonna get whistled for the push. And you know what, big fella, get one of those a game. Let me know that you're going hard. And yeah, that's a pretty obvious call, but if you're Coach Darner, you're not too mad at your big for that one. Keep crashing. Patterson out of Chicago, Illinois. Had a pretty good game on Friday. Five points, but did come up with nine rebounds in that contest. It's all about how you contribute, Ted. It doesn't always have to be scoring. Everybody gets hung up on scoring. You know, look at the youth on this Green Bay team. With a lot of promising signs. Patterson, one of them, and on cue gets the block. You got to think this roster is sitting without two very, very key players. You got Trevor Anderson transferred to Wisconsin. Patterson staying with it and rewarded big fella. You had Trevor Anderson, who was, I mean, Wisconsin basketball player of the year a couple of years ago. He transfers after leading the team last season in scoring, I believe, or second in scoring. Yeah. 
he transfers to Wisconsin to walk on, and then you lost Karim Cantor, who probably would have been an 18 point, eight or nine rebound guy on this team. He trans Raz transfers out to Xavier, so this roster will look completely different with those two guys in the lineup. And uh, yeah, you leave you're left filling holes with with youth. Only two seniors on the roster. As Jesperson kept that one alive. Phoenix struggling to, to find points right now. Rivera. He's got a pretty shot. Yeah. He gets it off quick. Another three for him, and it's a 10-point lead for Stetson. Hankerson, that one may have come a little too quick. Yeah, and yeah, Patterson's even telling him to slow it down a little bit. Small getting ready to check back into the game. Before that, there is a timeout on the floor, and you're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. The we do such hands-on stuff. It's like another home. It's a home away from home. It's a big city school in a small town environment. It's not about if I'm going to succeed, it's about when am I going to succeed and how can we get there. I'm not specified to one degree or one program or one class. Um, you know, I have a, a wide variety of views for the world and for the campus. I'm challenged to critically think beyond the material and beyond the discussions. I really love that Green Bay has still got that big city feel, but the campus has like that nature state park type feel. We have some of the greatest professors that have small class sizes and you can really relate to. UW Green Bay has been a huge impact uh, on my confidence level and what I can do. It's got so much to offer. I think from where I was at when I transferred here to where I am now are two completely different people. It's been a phenomenal transformation. Take the worry out of winter driving by riding on a new set of tires from Mills Fleet Farm. Need tires for your truck, car, or SUV? Get the tires you need at the prices you can afford. Fleet Farm carries all the best brands, Michelin, BF Goodrich, Cooper, Roadrunner, and many more. Stop in to see our full selection. If you have questions, our experienced team can help. Be safe. Be smart. Get the best tires at the best prices. Mills Fleet Farm. 10-point lead for Stetson over Green Bay with 7.57 remaining in the first half. Stetson with that 10-point lead thanks to some pretty good shooting. Well, yeah, I mean, I feel like Stetson's gotten a ton of catch-and-shoot threes where the Phoenix are really settling for pull-up threes in transition. So right now you have Stetson shooting a blistering 57%, and you have Green Bay shooting 38%. Two of nine from three for the Phoenix. Yeah, really struggling from that three-point line. I just think it's the quality of the shots. I mean, Stetson just getting a lot of rhythm jump shots. Hatter's also leading the fast break point 6 nothing. Yeah. So transition points right now at a premium for the Phoenix. Pipes working against Aninye. Steal by Patterson. Pat Patterson active on both ends tonight. Yeah, he loved the deflection on that other end leading to this uh, to this opportunity for the Phoenix. Now, what do they do with it? That's the big question. Manny working hard in the post. He yeah. wants it yeah. on the block. They sp swing it around. I feel like you got to get him a touch because he's a willing passer from the post. Small. <laughs> from the wing of the Phoenix <laughs> logo. Yeah. It's a, a small, again, a senior. Well averse to being in close games. He hasn't changed his, uh, his body language or his mentality at all. Small two of two from that three-point line. Ten points in the game. Tell you what, the posts for both teams are working really hard. They're not being rewarded. From the corner, Pipes had it for a moment. Who did it go off of? Well, they're going to say it went off of Pipes. You look at P.J., where's number two? Yeah, just missed time in his jump. You see the deflection here, and I, I couldn't tell. <laughs> P.J., the true freshman out of Woodridge, Illinois. Chicago area. He's a good-looking player. Yes, he is. A lot of these freshmen are. Another layup by Glassford. That's a nice-looking player, too, Glassford. Recognize the foot speed mismatch he had.
Glassford thought about the three. Gets a couple of screens over to Rivera. Keep an eye on Rivera. He's got a couple of threes in this game. Miles tries to split the defenders. And they are going to get Hankerson on the foul. Yeah, you're going to see it here. He tries to get him with that, with that off arm there, that close forearm. You don't get that anymore in college. you got to show both of your hands. Terrific speed for Miles. He's quick. He's got to be a tough matchup. Those little guards always find ways to get lower than you, and they can beat you to the spot with quickness and strength. There it is again. Glassford just I think that's on the scouting report. Every time that Jesperson is matched up with one of the wings, they're just attacking his shoulder. Low man wins on that. Did you see how low Glassford was on that <laughs> first dribble? Let's talk to the kids about getting their shoulder down to the hip. He was down around the knee of Jesperson. And Hankerson on the other end here is demonstrating that same quality with the drive, dipping that shoulder, getting by the defender, drawing the foul at the rim. But yeah, Glassford, man, driving right. If he gets, gets, catches it in that 17-foot area, he's a, a really tough guard. Well, and that's where your defensive rotation is so important. Yeah, and it's tougher. At the, I mean, you got to take a, just two feet off of that and get into 17. It's tougher to get those rotations. Meanwhile, well, Hankerson at the free throw line, knocked down the first one. Hankerson out of Michigan. Had a 10-point game against Mississippi State last week, 12 points against Florida A&M on Friday. And maybe that's what he needed. Last game it was Khalil Small. He needed to get to the free throw line and just see something go in. Now sometimes getting to that line and seeing one go in and get you going. Small denies Miles. And Glassford. Miles keeps it alive for the offensive rebound. Hey, Miles is everywhere. Oh, man. Well, little extra on that one. <laughs> with the jelly. Aninye with Anine. the finish. Aninye switches hands midair with the soft touch with the left. Little English off the backboard. And Khalil Small caught trying to do just a little too much there. And Last word attacks and... We'll go to the line. Look at this. Ooh. Ted, they teach you that at Creighton. <laughs> huh? Yeah, the only way I got that, I was coming off a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, right there. You put that English on that on that layup. It's a nice finish now. Pretty move. You picked that one up in the playground or playing versus older siblings. Watching some Kyrie Irving. You need a combination of all that to get that one off. Well, it... it he had a little contact, too, that he that he dealt with, too, that wasn't called. Bodies on the floor, 10 seconds on the shot clock, and we've got an injured player. Eola low to get up. Yeah, I didn't see what happened. I don't know if we get a replay. We got poked in the eye or? Yeah, a couple of players hit the floor. Eola trying to. Shake it off. Oh, yeah, he's bleeding now, too. 6'9", yep. freshman out of Atlanta, Georgia. Take a look at it here. Lost the handle. Oh, right there. Yeah, he hit his head on the floor. That's always tough. And yeah, hopefully he's all right. He's a, he's a good looking ball player. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Drop off to Dennis, and Dennis on the second opportunity. Oh. That just hung on the rim and fell in favor of the Hatters. Dennis with the soft touch, I thought for sure that that was going to come out. Shooting woes continue for the Phoenix. From the corner, another Man. three, that and this time Aninye. Glassford again, just punching the gap so hard and quick, drawing that extra def defender. 
Valier in the top of the key. And right back the other way. Well, if you're going to miss a shot, you better get back on D. The transition points well in favor of the Hatters right now. So a timeout on the floor. Phoenix trying to figure out how to slow down the Stetson team. You're watching Phoenix basketball on ESPN3. Link Darner in his third season with the Green Bay Phoenix. He's got, I don't know what you say in the huddle in this situation here with Stetson out to a big lead late in the first half. Well, you're talking consistency if you're, if you're Coach Darner. I mean, again, second half of the previous game, the Phoenix really locked in and picked up their intensity. And again, with a young team, you're trying to stay positive, but at the same time, you need them to pick it up. So right here, I think you would get something either going to Small or Hankerson trying to get them going and get something to the rim. And then you got to start putting some stops together here. I feel like uh, shot selection has really hurt the Phoenix. It's led to transition for Stetson. I think Stetson's just playing harder than uh, the Phoenix right now as well. Green Bay settling for a lot of threes. They're just three of 12 from that three-point line. And they're not rhythm threes. They're off the dribble or in transition. Well, they got to the rim that time. And they call it that one off of Stetson. And I thought, <laughs> lucky break for the Phoenix there. Khalil Small, just like he lost his feet. And you'll see here, Khalil Small just not able to elevate and finish. And that's yeah, clearly off of Chevalier. Well, the officials get together. And... They're not going to look at it on the replay. They're just going to reset the shot clock is what they were discussing. Yeah, no, they can't look at it on the replay. Uh, I believe it's under two minutes. We have to go to the monitor. That may be in the second half, Ted, to be honest with you. Coach Williams and staff or Stetson. That is going to be an illegal shot. <laughs> and I feel like, like there was definitely a body check there that they just called on the baseline on Baines. Uh, Chris got bumped right when he got into his shot. <laughs> uh, Larry Bird from behind the basket. <laughs> behind the... <laughs> there we remember go. Larry Bird? I do remember Larry Bird, all right? <laughs> I was born in 87. I know my basketball now, though. I, you know, student of the game. Three minutes left in this first half. Oh, man. <laughs> you Glassford got is red Gla hot. Glassford, <laughs> pun intended, right? Off glass right. for that shot. He called it with his last name, right? <laughs> 13 points in the game. 6 of 10 shooting for Glassford in this one already. Small. And that's going to be a jump ball. And again, Coach Garner is telling him, pitch it. You drew two defenders. You got Hankerson who's been just kicked at. I mean, it doesn't keep the game simple. And you get a clean look for three. And you're not going to get it all by yourself. You know what I mean? There's a lot of basketball left. Well, this lead jumped quick as Stetson. As this escalated very quickly. Chris. Nice move. He thought he was fouled on the play. Yeah, Chris created all that contact too. So I just was happy to see him able to get that one up and finish. Chris with a couple of buckets in this first half. Guarded by Parham. Aninye. For that time, the Stetson offense looked a little out of sync. And yeah, Coach Williams was hollering for him to move it. Another missed three opportunity. And Chevalier with a second chance. Opportunity will go to the free throw line. Chevalier did a tremendous job on that weak side, just eyeing up that rebound, using his body. Not the greatest athlete. It's definitely a big body. He's more skilled from three, but getting it done inside. Any points you can get with the stop clock, or with the, with the clock stopped, <laughs> helps the Phoenix right now. Well, and you're, you're talking about a freshman out of Kimberly, Wisconsin. Stand 6'8". Big body, big yeah. frame. He does have a great three, but at the college level, you got to play all 
Gotta all be a, positions. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's, the game is definitely tiered more towards skill in today's college basketball and NBA basketball. Uh, but you got to be able to mix it up inside as well. Always room for hustle under the glass. So the free throws make it 46-29 with a minute 40 to go in the first. Glassford. That was a tremendous pass. He had English. <laughs> he sent, sent that underneath the defense. And another layup for Stetson, 48-29. And Ted, I'll tell you what, the Phoenix are going to have to make some adjustment. Every time they get two feet inside the paint, they're getting quality looks on offense. I mean, they've been pretty consistent on getting two feet inside of the paint. Eola grabbed that last offensive rebound. Good to see him back on the game. He was a young man who went out after getting hit in the head. Eola then takes the shot. Bell kept it alive. Chris with the rebound. Parm. One on two and gets it to go. No. Charge. And now the officials will get together. And I think they might count the bucket. Yeah. Oh, no. They're going to reverse the call. Sandy's inside of the RA. And with that, it turns into a block. Count the bucket. I mean, how about that for a swing? And I'd like to see the replay on that. I believe one referee had to charge the other official. Had him inside, inside the restricted area. So par him to the free throw line. 82% free throw shooter missed that one. He was four for four from the line on Friday. Yeah, now you're in two for one territory. I like yeah, Coach Williams using his um, use it or lose it. And you'll see it here. Yeah, Palm sizing it up and inside the RA. That's a great job by the officiating crew inside of the half circle. And uh, they come in and get it right. You know, that's the biggest thing. And yeah. so now so now you're at you got a two for one opportunity here if you're Stetson, all right? You, Play the analytics. You like to get more shots up. The more shots up, you more opportunities you get, the more opportunities you get to score. So, be interesting to see what they draw up out of the timeout to get a quality look quick here. We're gonna try to get the stop on the other end. If you're the Phoenix, you need a bucket going into halftime, and then Stetson will have an opportunity at the last shot of the half. Well, right now it's just it's shooting shot selection. Right now, both teams are, are pretty equal when it comes to shot attempts. Stetson's got 36 shot attempts. They've made 21. Green Bay has taken 34 shots, but they've only made 12. Yeah, That's 23%. And again, how many of those shots have been off the dribble or contested or rushed in the shot clock? That's the way That's the way Coach Darner likes to play, but you also have to make the adjustment as when shots aren't going in, we got to work a little bit more for better looks. I mean, Coach Darner wants to play fast and give his guys freedom to score. Miles. Well, that was a that was a bad pass. That was, that was saved by Anine. Well, like knocked down the three. Anine should have got to the drift as well. Though. I think that's what he, what Miles was counting on. And again, you got to oh, I call him old man. When you got a group full of seniors that just know how to hoop, know how to play the game, sometimes stuff like that just works itself out. Let's go back on the next dead ball and maybe take a look at that pass because maybe it was it was meant to go Anine. <laughs> Miles with the foul. Yeah, and uh, for, for Stetson, they just gave away that two-for-one opportunity here. So now the Phoenix will, will get the one and one. Well, I lied. They're in, the, they're in the bonus. So Stetson, more concerning is Stetson's hung 51 on the Phoenix here in this first half. Win an opportunity to score again going into halftime. Again, with a young group, it's just tough to overcome. That was the first foul on Miles. Eighth team foul. Ten seconds on the game clock in the half. Miles has the ball, guarded by Hankerson. Miles spins into the paint, floats, misses. And now Parham tried to give it up to Hankerson, and that's the way the first half will come to an end. A wild first half and a big first half for the Stetson Hatters, who lead 51 to 31. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Now well, back at the Rush Center where Stetson is 
stunned Green Bay and this crowd, and quite frankly, the announcers a little bit here. 51-31 through the first half of play. Stetson only scored 58 points in North Dakota State a couple nights ago. Yeah, I mean, they've really come out. They've hit shots. Um, they've come out with it. I think one of the game plans was let's get a attack the paint and see what we get. And they've gotten basically every, every look they wanted. Let's take a look at some of those highlights from the first half. And you see Chris here bang the three from the wing. And, uh, I mean, the Phoenix had a, didn't have many opportunities. And you see him with the steal here. They didn't have a lot of uh, quality looks in that first half. Um, these are, I mean, these are some of the limited ones that they had. Hankerson getting to the rim there. Patterson doing a great job of sealing and posting up. And you see Patterson with the crash and one. Big fella, grown man rebound. Yeah, Pipes here hit Khalil Small from the tip of the wing of the bird from three. But you had Stetson doing what they do. You had Aninye there with the beautiful English on the finger roll. And you see him from three. And again, he had that late, that late three and a half that really was kind of the dagger to seal that half. And Chris creating the contact and finishing. And barely got off the floor on that one, but got that one off. Yeah, Palm Tree. Nene trying to take the charge, but was inside the restricted area. And this is the story. I mean, even when, when things went wrong, it went right for Stetson. I mean, Miles with the, Nene with the late drift still gets the three. And that's how the half finish uh, for Stetson on that made basket. So that's, yeah, and that's the story of the game right now. And Nene with three of four from that three-point line, seven of 13 as a team for Stetson. So they're shooting 50, better than 53% from that three-point line. So... Green Bay's got to clean some things up defensively first and then also got to figure out a way to get some points on the board. It's a 20-point lead for Stetson. It's intermission. We're going to step away again. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Halftime of Green Bay and Stetson. Some young men on the floor right now from Green Bay Preble. Maybe some future Phoenix players out there. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> they got a few more so years. What a great experience, though, I mean, to be able to get out in front of a crowd and play. Well, our next broadcast for Phoenix basketball is going to be Saturday when we check out the Green Bay Phoenix women who are just coming back from Mexico. They played in Cancun, and what a trip they had in Cancun. I mean, great opportunity. They uh, ended up beating Columbia out of the I Ivy League. Ivy League's a tough conference. Uh, beat Arizona State, who was ranked 20, 24th in the country at the time, and then ended up losing to Mississippi State. Again, played in the national title game last year. Ranked seven in one poll, third in, the, in another poll. Um, had two players make uh, Jessica Lindstrom and Ali LeClaire make the all-tournament team in their region um, of the tournament, their bracket of the tournament. So. Big time opportunity, I mean, for the Phoenix women, they've uh, had the opportunity to play some uh, tremendous competition to start, and it picks up this weekend again with another ranked opponent, uh, Marquette, coming into town. So I'm definitely looking forward to watching that game and, and uh, seeing how this Phoenix team, they've been doing it with defense, they've been doing it the hard way too. Uh, Coach Borsett says that defense travels with them wherever they go. Yeah, <laughs> should, be a, should be a great one Saturday. That game starts at 1 o'clock. Come on out to the Cress Event Center if you can. If not, you can join us right here on ESPN3. It's halftime. We're going to step away once again. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Halftime continues with Stetson leading Green Bay by 20 points at first half. Stetson led by B.J. Glassford's 13 points. Six of 10 from the field. He hit one of those three-pointers. Green Bay led by the senior, Khalil Small. He's got 10 in the contest. Green Bay's got some work to do in the second half. Find out if they can do it. We'll step away. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. They are back at the Rush Center in Green Bay, home of the Green Bay Phoenix men, and they've got their work cut out for them. Ted Stefania, Cordero, Barkley with you on the call, and Green Bay starts with a 20-point deficit as we get set to start the second half. Yeah, we'll get to see if RP40 can come to life in this half for the Phoenix. Uh, Coach Darner's relentless pressure system. Let's see if we can uh, create some turnovers versus one of the better 
turnover margin teams in the country. Stetson gets the ball. First possession of the second half. We'll see if there's a lid on this end of the court on the <laughs> basket. <laughs> oh, Good step through my and goodness. finish for Larry Dennis. And I'd say they've been uh, attacking Jesperson pretty consistently in this game, but that was a big time move in the post. Pipes. Pipes with a good finish. Yeah, you had Pipes there with the nice pull up. Pipes with a finish from 15. What a microphone trouble there. <laughs> <laughs> I got it straightened out. Say technology is always good when it works. So keep your fingers off the buttons. And, uh, Pipes, is a, he's a good young player, though. I love his pace of play. Never sped up. I was going to say now. If it that was almost <laughs> went. <laughs> I was going to say, if he gets that to drop with that English on here, <laughs> then maybe time for all of us to hang it up. Look That's some backspin now. That's that old man game. You, you learned that playing at the Y in the summertime right there. Now we, we uh, <laughs> I, I, I take offense to that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I can't jump anymore. That's what I got to do to make a shot you go in. Now. Flip it up on the glass. <laughs> Put that English on there, man. My well, I, I take offense or I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> Good dish by Chris. Off the fingertips of Jesperson. Pipes trying to beat the shot clock and... Now there's going to be a discussion as to whether pipe shot actually hit the rim. So they're going to look at the replay on this. It has to hit the rim. If it doesn't hit the rim and reset the shot clock, yeah. it's going to be a violation. It's yeah. It, I didn't, what did you didn't, think? I didn't see it hit the rim. I feel like it went off the bottom of the left side of the backboard. You had Miles fly out kind of late with a really good contest, and it changed pipe's shot. Uh, from three, so I'll be curious to see what they come up with. And again, not the start that you necessarily wanted for the finish. You wanted to come out and get some starts. They go right at Jesperson and get a bucket. Pipes comes in with the make, but you know you got a possible shot clock violation here. It's a good thing that the, the officials let it play through, though, because if it is a bucket, the Phoenix get to keep the bucket. You know what I mean? If it's not, then you, you can take points off the board. But if they would have stopped it early and it been wrong, that'd have been tough. Well, if anything, it, it caught just the the edge of the bottom of the rim if anything yeah yeah I mean it's close and we're not getting an opportunity to no the officials are getting all of our here. replays and sometimes we get we get what they see but uh, sometimes we don't <laughs> well two of the officials are still over there taking a look I mean it's that's how close it is yeah <laughs> It's just been, this Green Bay team, it's been tough to get a gauge on. And again, you, I keep reminding myself because I was on a team with five freshmen that were contributing. Uh, with, four, with four of them contributing at a high level, should I say. And, um, we have a young team. You're going to have that in because it's kind of a roller coaster in the beginning of the year until you figure out what it takes to come out and play each and every night. Well, these are valuable minutes for those, for those young players, a yeah. lot of freshmen so on this team. Seven freshmen. Yeah. on this roster right now. Now, the good news is, on, on top of getting all this experience, you are getting one heck of a basketball player who's going to be activated on December 21st when Sandy Cohen becomes eligible from his transfer from, Mar from Marquette. Let me get an explanation here. Check, check on that. All right. So no basket. Yep, Null, especially nullified the bucket. You got to go officiating terms here, Ted. Ah, you step, step your game up. <laughs> Take the bucket <laughs> off the board. And uh, yes. It was a shot clock violation. So, well, they they certainly took their time in, in making sure they got that call right. Yeah. That time it didn't work out in favor of the Phoenix. There's Miles falling to the floor. Got it out to Rivera. He missed. Glassford almost got it. And now Hankerson collects it and pushes. Christ to Jesperson. And the senior knocks it down. Well, you've only got two seniors on this team. Yeah, you got to play. And that's the one thing Jesperson is really, really, really good at, and that's that trail three. He can really shoot the basketball. 
Jasperson, one of two from the three-point line tonight, has struggled this season from the three-point line. Overall on the season, just 17%. Yeah. But it's early. Yes. <laughs> Very early. And Coach Darner hollering at the at the officials here that Miles created all that contact. Khalil Small straight up and down. The officials. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. you know. Getting involved to uh, just make sure everyone's on the same page well, here for the game. You got Khalil Small again from Chicago. Uh, definitely not backing down from anybody. And uh, it felt like he took exception to something Miles said after the fact. And he had to chat about it. And then the fish <laughs> officials had to come in and clean it up. And uh, me personally, I love it. You got two seniors on here on the, on the court here with a lot of pride. Uh, Miles is not wanting to see his team lose two on the road. Khalil Small trying to get his team to battle back at home. Here's Chris. Contact, and he is fouled by Doyle. And Chris is trying to do a little bit too much there. No, it was not a foul. Not a foul. No, just threw it out of bounds. And I don't think I think it's a great none call. I mean, Chris going to no man's land there. Not a lot of room to operate. Again, too much one on one trying to attack on that first reversal. I just don't think that's the uh, the route to go. If you got to get some side top side action, get a couple of reversals. And you're going to have a better opportunity to look to score. But when you're trying to drive baseline versus set defense on the first pass to the wing, it's tough. And you're not in high school anymore. This is a completely <laughs> different game when you move from the high school level to the college level. And the speed at which these people play at. No, you nailed it. It is such a fast game today. Hankerson. Yeah, quality look. Now, that was good action. Oh, and Miles with a nice split. Oh. And again, you see there again, middle drive, two feet in the paint. Glassford with a finish. And Chris called for the walk. Extra step as he lined up his shot. Chris with some frustration on his face. And Miles is wow. already so low at 5'11", but it's... His base and Glassford has been getting to the rack whenever he wants to. Well, we've seen that a few times, especially from Stetson, how low they're getting on the drives. Yeah, there's not much you can do. I mean, they, they, uh, you can tell they work on attacking. Uh, we call it getting, them a, to a, getting your players to attack the hips and getting that defender to open up and creating that advantage. You've seen a lot of that. Pass to Dennis and jump ball. Yeah, good defense by, I think it was Patterson that got that block, right? I thought for a second there, Dennis was going to get a quality look on the weak side. Patterson able to use his length and get it before he even gets off the floor. Parham. He splits the defenders. That's yeah. a good look for Palm. His second bucket of the game. And I love the efficiency. One dribble, attacking downhill. Gets off of one foot and escape or slide shot, finger roll to finish. Palm saw limited minutes off the bench in that first half. And you see it here, Palm with the finger roll. The redshirt sophomore finishes. There's a timeout on the floor. You're watching Phoenix basketball on ESPN3. Hell, points in the paint right now. Finds Stetson in a healthy lead right now. Yeah, 30 to 16 in favor of Stetson. Um, just really, they've been, this whole entire game, they've been attacking the paint hard. Uh, they're not selling for three. You saw them shoot 36 threes in their last game versus uh, North Dakota State. Only gotten 15 threes up this game so far. So again, just a different men mentality this game. Maybe a different uh, game plan with having this lead as well. And Palm out of time out there. 
Nice play call from Coach Darner to get an easy one. And the Phoenix are chipping away now. It's, it's a 16-point lead. Now you got to start to put together some multiples. We, we talk about getting three stops in a row and giving yourself an opportunity to get some looks on the other end offensively. Miles. And this is Doyle. Back to Rivera. Rivera had a big first half. He tries to go in against the post. Regrets that decision. Here's Barnes working on Eola. And he'll go shoot some free throws. And now you saw the defense turned up. Now they played the whole entire second half to Phoenix the other day with that type of pressure. Now can they sustain that energy and convert that into more stops? And if you're Stetson, I love Miles the senior. He, he huddles all his guys together. They get the tight circle going, and they talk about what they're going to do to try to stop this little mini run the Phoenix are on. Well, if you weren't with us Friday night, we saw a Phoenix team play two completely different halves against Florida A&M. Yeah, I mean, it was like watching literally night and day. Uh, the, team with the, the team that came in with no energy in the first half had all of the energy in the second half and really took a man of the game. Phoenix will need that kind of effort again tonight in this second half. And that's another takeaway. And on the handoff, you, you had a, basically a moving screen. And the officials actually, I feel like they did a, a good job of being on top of that. A lot of times when you see the dribble handoffs, the offensive team would get away with that. See that more and more in the college game, the, the DHO as they call it, the <laughs> dribble handoff. And that time it works against Stetson. Parham was looking for Patterson. Patterson hit the deck. And I don't know if his foot got stepped on or if he got just, I don't think, he's too strong to get pushed over that easily. And it looks, oh, he got tripped. Yeah. yeah it looks like Glassford it, it wasn't stepping on his foot. Yeah, it wasn't intentional or anything. That's a good no call. Tough, tough break though, because Patterson was open on that roll. But again, the Phoenix now turn up the defense. Maybe they can come up with another stop here, or Stetson can get their groove back, get a quality look here. Glassford into Eola. Good finish. Just working it. Working it. I love that mid post in the high post. And he, Eola goes and gets that off the, off the glass, too. Challenging Hankerson on that last shot. A backdoor cut by Glassford. Dish to Rivera, who doesn't seem to miss. No, he punishes you if you, if you lose him. He is three for four from the three-point line. And just when you're the Phoenix, you built that cut into that lead by five points. And all of a sudden, you give up a 5-0 run. Khalil Small had, to, had that drift pass initially before the spin. Waited one second too late, and Glassford with the great hustle to get that still. But again, that's a senior in Glassford rotating, anticipating, getting the steal. Then on the other end, Luke Doyle, another senior yeah. with the three. Bangs it in. And again, it's an it's a 8-0 run from this Stetson team, just like that. Well, and Doyle's been deadly from that three-point line, 46%, but Khalil Small answers on the other end. I didn't see what happened there, but the yeah, Doyle is an assassin from three, man. <laughs> He can really shoot it. I love Khalil Small there getting to the paint, getting the bucket to stop, stop the bleeding from that 8-0 run that Stetson went on. And Coach Darner, he's, you know, right now he's continuing. He wants his guys to work through it. He only has two timeouts left. And let them see if they can make it to the media timeout. And that's a – should no be a turnover, you yeah. bet. Right in the spot. And, yeah, you see this back door from Glassford, but, again – Phoenix get lost as they had to collapse the defense, and <laughs> Rivera makes them pay. Phoenix now doing a good job of turning this Stetson team over. They don't turn the ball over very much. Currently at their season average with 12 minutes left in this game of nine. Hankerson guarded by Miles. Back out to Parham. Works off the screen. 
from Patterson. Patterson with the ball. And misses a shot, a little strong on that. Hit off the back of the iron. Doyle talked about oh. his three-point shooting ability. That time he was inside the three. Eola with the offensive rebound and put back. Yeah, and he's not shy. He has a good-looking mid-range shot. Doyle tried to teach Palm a lesson about reaching there up top. And I, Eola able to come up with the miss. If, oh, man, that's a tough miss there for Palm. If you're the Phoenix boy, I tell you what, those are the opportunities that you can't give up. You get the, the tough contested shot that you want, and you give up an offensive rebound and two points on top of that. Well, you mentioned it. You got to fight through the adversity right now. Try to win the small battles. You're not going to get it all back in one big chunk. No, you got to dig in. Glassford. Oh, man, Glassford's just got it going tonight. Everything he puts up looks like it's going in. And P.J. Pipes, excuse me, sorry, Tre Trev Bell doing a good job in establish establishing early post position for a quick two. And the Phoenix needs some of those, but they need some stops on this end of the court. And that's one of them. Miles threw it right to Parham. Parham can't finish on the other end. And not able to elevate and finish. And those are the ones you got to have in yeah, this situation. You get, you get the stop. You got to convert that. Whatever it takes. Jump stop, left hand, dunk. Got to make these opportunities count because Stetson is taking advantage of every little inch right now. Glassford again, and 20 just, points in the game. There's no resistance on the other end defensively. Cool. And Coach Darner will take that timeout. Small with the bucket. Coach Darner takes the timeout, so we'll step away. Stetson with a big lead. You're watching Phoenix basketball on ESPN3. Now back at the rest center in Green Bay, and Stetson leading the Phoenix 71-47, 10-39 remaining in the ball game. Stetson continues their red-hot shooting. Corey Williams in his fifth season as head coach of Stetson. He's got himself a very nice ball, uh, ball team again, uh, and again, a lot of experience on that group. But, you know, Coach Williams has been around for a while. Not only his fifth season at Stetson, was an assistant at Florida State, an assistant at Oral Roberts, played some ball at Oklahoma State for Eddie Sutton, and then was drafted <laughs> by the Bulls. 93, baby. Go ahead and get you a ring, Coach yeah. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I can only imagine trying to guard MJ in practice. I wouldn't want that matchup. Yeah. Well, doing a great job with the Stetson Hatter team. Here's Doyle. Phoenix, even though 10 minutes remaining, running out of opportunities here. And, and with shots like those, again, no movement. Behind the back, in transition, trying to get it all back in one play. It's going to be tough. And that's why you play these non-conference games, though. You get to run up versus a team with five seniors who just dug in. They know how to play basketball. You just can see them processing what's going on faster from all of that experience. It's going to be invaluable come late in the season here, January, February, for this Phoenix team. Well, Rivera missed the shot, but a Phoenix foul, and Khalil not happy. We'll talk about it when we come back. Time out on the floor. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. <laughs> 
Stetson leading Green Bay 71 to 47. 9.49 to play. Just before that timeout, there was a foul on David Jesperson. Not a whole lot there. Yeah. Uh, but the official on the baseline, he, you know, from his angle, he, he had a push. So uh, Stetson gets another opportunity at it. And they take advantage. Glassford again, man. He's just is in a tremendous groove. He is unconscious right now. 10 of 15 for 22 points now. Bell. Oh, my goodness. Took too much time as he only rotated down and blocks a second one. Aola with the volleyball kill. It's a different type of athlete, man. Six, eight, and long. Good look at freshman. Yeah, talk about special teams there. The turnover on the baseline out of bounds play. Miles lost the handle or gave up the handle before he hit the deck, so it was not a travel. Or at least that's what the officials would say. Miles. And another Stetson possession coming up. Yeah, Baines trying to go in with one hand and tip it, and Khalil Small going with two, and Baines punches it out of Khalil Small's hands. Stetson already with 73 points in this ball game with about nine minutes to go. They have been outstanding. 54% from the field tonight. 10 of 20 from the three-point line oh, in Glassford. My goodness. I don't know. What do you do? I mean, you face guard the guy? I. You, you got to do I'm, something to I'm slow at, him down. I'm at the point where I limit his touches. Yeah, I mean, he's he's in just a really good groove. Even that's a tough shot. And you see Khalil Small gets hit across the arm there. Uh, but on the other end, Glassford attacks the defender like he's going to drive like he's done all game out of the same hand. You know, he's a right-handed player. Dr face that drive right hand, step back three. Yeah, there's not a lot of defense you can do for that, Ted. I mean, <laughs> Just, I'm just at the point where I would limit of, his touches, though. That kind of game. Yeah. I'm at the point where I would limit his touches. That's the best thing the Phoenix have going for him right now is that Miles has four fouls. Good look at Khalil Small. Senior leader on this team. He knocked down 11 to 12 free throws the other night against Florida A&M. 16 points in that game on Friday. Had 15 against Mississippi State last week. Yeah, he's shooting 90 plus percent, 91 plus percent from the free throw line this season. Iola working against Jesperson. Good rebound by Trev Bell. Christ. Out to Baines. Jasperson, a long three-point attempt. Rebounded by Glassford. And now Stetson kind of just running their offense and working it a little bit. Good next pass. Good ball movement. That one rattles around and... A loose ball ends up in the hands of the Hatters. Okay. Doyle was going to take that shot, but Coach Williams said, hey, let's let's run a little clock here. Yeah. Now you're in, you're in football, you're in your running game right now. You're just trying to milk the clock a little bit, but keep your pace. Oh, my goodness. And that one didn't drop. Doyle with a nice hop through there. Chris gives it up to Baines. Baines. Missed the three. Well, you feel like you gotta gotta get these three pointers. Take these three point shots at this point. I mean, yeah, you gotta you gotta be a little more aggressive. I still, at this point, yeah, I mean, you gotta make some shots. 
Um, but you can't settle for bad shots either, though. I mean, you're not going to get it back shooting 20% shots. You know, you still lose, cost yourself possession. So got to find that balance of attacking and, and taking good shots. Well, if you're the Phoenix, good to see Glassford miss one on that end. Bell comes down on this end and knocks down a three. So moving in the right direction right. now. <laughs> and you got to string some of these together. I mean, there is six minutes left. But you got the, you have the skill set on the roster if you can string some stops to hit some shots and make this game respectable. Aninye with the miss, but Iola, another offensive rebound. Timeout on the floor. Stetson with a big lead. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Big lead for Stetson over Green Bay with 6.04 to go. Well, here's a little trivia for you. Looking at uh, Stetson alum. Remember the Adams family? You ever see the Adams family? I have. Okay, I'm talking about the black and white version. Yes, right. old school. Yes, yes, yes. Ted Cassidy. Ted Cassidy is from Stetson, graduated from Stetson. Now who's Ted Cassidy in the Adams family? I'm gonna go with, uh, with uh, what's, the, what's the weird guy with no neck? What's, <laughs> what's the weird guy in the Adams family? Yeah, well, all of them, right? Yeah. How about Lurch? Lurch, that's Lurch. what I was going with. Was that right? That is correct. Lurch. <laughs> Ted Cassidy went to Stetson. Hey, Matty Patterson. There we Good go. Good hustle. hustle. Good Big hustle. Fella. Oh, and that has to be something there. That's a lot of contact across the arms and upper body, not to be anything. And Coach Darner, rightfully so, is harping at the referees now. Rivera to Doyle. Hankerson looking into Patterson, and now we'll get a call. Coach Darner working for every call right now. <laughs> I can't blame him. Can't blame him. And they need to get to the bonus here. Um, Stetson with six fouls. And again, points with the clock stopped helps. There's Hankerson. He just has had one of those nights. Pipes good hustle trying to get that offensive rebound, but Doyle pulled it in. And Nene gives it up to Rivera. Five minutes left in the ball game. And Dennis working on Patterson, oh. spun it back, came up short, and then Dennis too strong on the rebound attempt, pushed Patterson. It's a good move, though. I mean, this is big-time footwork. And even his bench was excited for him. I mean, that's a big-time footwork. Now, you, you hate to see you double up, right? You go get that foul, take yourself out of the game because you're frustrated because you missed that shot. You had a good move. You just missed it. Live on to play another play. Don't pick up your fifth 94 feet away from the basket and put the other team, the Phoenix, into the bonus here. And the senior from Wichita, Larry Dennis, is fouled out. Miles comes back into the game. Now he's playing with four fouls. Miles already with a... Double double in this game, ten points and ten rebounds. Yeah, I'm listed at five eleven, Ted. I've seen a lot of five eleven people <laughs> play my share of basketball. Yeah. That's a general. That's a generous listing. Yeah. But at five eleven, talk about height, right? Doesn't matter how tall you are if you go get, if you go get the ball, right? He's playing bigger than five eleven tonight. <laughs> I know a lot of seven footers that can't go get you ten rebounds. <laughs> Manny Patterson on the free throw line out of Chicago. Got himself a couple of free throws and makes it a 75-54 game. The tough part with Stetson, all of their guards can handle the ball. So even if you want to trap and pursue that, I believe, you know, outside of Rivera, who's probably going to struggle to see over a trap. Christian Jones threw that one away. 
Yeah, now if you're Phoenix, now, now you need to find a way to get a bucket. I mean, again, it's four and a half minutes left. Seen some strange things happen here inside this rest center. Been part of some games we've been down double digits with four minutes left. Jones getting his first look in the game for Stetson. He's a freshman out of Columbia, South Carolina. Hankerson on the other end with the layup. Yeah, he got it. That's about it as 20. easy of a basket as they've had all night tonight. Yeah. And Miles is fast, slow. And again, no urgency, just playing his game. Pipes with the rebound. And Coach Williams telling his team to stop selling for pull-ups and jump shots, and Pipes now with another make. And all of a sudden, this game is getting a little more interesting down the stretch. Got to go to work, full court pressure by the Phoenix. Rivera, a couple behind the back dribbles. Force that one. No need for that one. No. And here come the Phoenix. Opportunity. Now you got to find yourself a good look here. I don't know that that was the one. A step back for Hankerson. Parham was crashing from the other side, but the Hatters came away with it. I feel like this is a good time out for Coach Williams here to get his team together to finish this game out. And if you're Coach Darner here now, I believe you almost got to come with the trap. 30-second timeout coming up. Well, next up for Green Bay. Actually, we're going to take a timeout before we talk about that. So you're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Stetson leading Green Bay, 75-58, 3.09 to go. Ted Stefania, Cordero Barkley with you. Well, tough one for the Phoenix so far tonight, but they hit the road for a Saturday game at Belmont before they come back here next Wednesday, a week from Wednesday. Eastern Illinois will be in town, and we'll have that game for you on ESPN3. Yeah, boy, I love, love, uh, I went down to Nashville. That's a good time now. Belmont and all the other universities. Belmont's plays, plays some really good basketball, too, so that should be a good game, high-scoring affair. Phoenix trying to finish up this one strong. Parham with the rebound. Well, and, and how, do you, how do you start piecing things back together after, after a game like this? Yeah, I mean, they're a young team. I mean, you, you stay talking about the process. I mean, because it is a process with this group. Uh, there's going to be ups and downs as Bell hits the three. It's a 14-point game, Ted. It's <laughs> enough possessions here to keep this interesting. I don't know at what point you start to trap a little bit or uh, foul to see if they can hit the free throws. But it's, it's a process, Ted. I mean, you're going to have games like this. And again, all of a sudden, Ted. Oh, pipes. Well, Pipes got it into the paint and drew the foul, so that's a good thing. Stops the clock. Yeah, he was lucky, too. He left his feet, was unsure what he was going to do with it. And big time blocked by Patterson. And Coach Williams is not happy on the bench right now. I wish we could get a shot at him. <laughs> he is not happy at all. And for the Phoenix, you, you got to be, if you're Coach Darner, you're happy that your team is did not give up and fought back. And if you're Coach Williams, you're disappointed that your team did not respect the, respect the process and finish this game out the right way. Both teams with some key talking points. Pipes got both free throws. It's a 12 point game. Stetson plays Campbell on Thursday for their next game. We reach the two-minute mark in the second half. Parham stops the clock with the foul. That's not. That's all right, though. Coach Darner saying don't foul. You got a long ways to get to the bonus here, too. So make them work, play aggressive, try to get some traps. I was curious here just because of how small all of these guards are from Stetson. Now, again, all upperclassmen have been in these situations thousands of times, but what they will look like in a trap versus length. 
The foul on Parham, only the third team foul for the Phoenix here in the second half. Miles still in the game here for Stetson. As well as Glassford and Doyle as they connect on that layup. Doyle with the finish. Yeah, Glassford with a nice no look pass to Doyle for the finish. And Bell is really yeah. heating up. He's got 13 points in the game. Nice job by Trevian Bell, the freshman. And it's an 11 point game though, Ted. It's still, it's still, yeah, I need one stop in a bucket and that won't be it. I, that's almost a dagger there. Doyle with a couple of layups. Last couple of times down the floor. We will count the bucket. Ankerson on the attack. And Coach Williams was, was hollering about it. He definitely got hit across the arms. Not a lot, but he got hit. You hear the smack over here. And again, Ted, is, if you're a coach, Ted, I mean, I'm asking you now. I mean, you still got to play this out, right? See if they can hit some free throws, play for some traps. I mean, it's well, a lot of ball game left here. You need those, though. You got to have those. Got to stop the clock here. And yeah, now you got to foul. You got to foul. Go for the ball, but you got to foul. You got to. There's uh, You only have four team fouls now with that foul. Stetson will get it, 105 remaining. And to be honest with you, I don't know that I'm, I'm trying to get this first look, but if I, if I can, yes, if you can get a quick foul, take it. Now my thing is you get them to, to get to catch the ball in the dead corner. You got to find a way to step on that sideline and keep them boxed in right there. Rivera working on That's the on one pipes. you want. Yep, trap in the corner. Rivera threw a dangerous pass. Inside a minute to go, 10 seconds on the shot clock. And and yeah. Now you don't need to, uh, but you can't give that up. But you didn't need to foul, but you can't give up that layup. It's tough. Small. Now the Phoenix can't, can't miss. The three. Who yeah. was this at in the first half? I uh, can't miss. Well, Small now with 19 points in the game. Three of four from that three-point line. Seven of ten from the field. Well, Small wasn't, he had a really nice game offensively. Yeah, no, it wasn't small. He needed some, he needed some support. I mean, Bell just now getting into double digits here, making some threes once the game was at 20 points, you know, and as they try to make this comeback. But up until that point, where was his help? I mean, Cam Hankerson's having a tremendous season as a sophomore here. He's 3 of 13, thir 3 of 13 from the floor in this game. And he had some quality looks. Wasn't like he was way off or anything. Just kind of had him go in and out. So uh, didn't have a lot of help if you're Khalil Small. And, again, that's, that's the growing pains with this young team. I think it's still going to be a learning process. I'd say even midway through conference, they're still going to be figuring out different things and different components of, of what makes this team ticks. Yep. Hankerson was also 0 for 4 from that three-point line. Jesperson only one of three. As a team, 8 of 24. 33%. Not, not terrible from the three-point line, but, but you got to account that they've made four or five threes here late. Yeah. 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 And right now, Glassford, the leading scorer for Stetson, 24 points in this game on 11 of 17 shooting. B.J. Glassford has been outstanding standing in this contest. Small, the leading scorer for Green Bay with 19. Bell has 13. 38 seconds remaining. Baseball pass to Miles. Goes out of bounds, and Green Bay will get it under their own bucket on the turnover. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking there. Yeah, he had Coach it. Williams. <laughs> he doesn't know he's, either. He's got an idea. <laughs> Make the easy pass, he says. He had Ananya standing right there wide open in the front court. Or in the backcourt, should I say, so. Parham double teamed. Hankerson gets a loose ball. Bell. Rivera out to Doyle. Doyle with the dunk. And that's going to be ball game for you right there. Well, a nice little flurry by the Phoenix down the stretch. But Stetson had too much. 
for the Phoenix tonight. Outstanding shooting, and their senior leadership really came to play in this game. The Hatters come to Green Bay for the first time and get a victory, 38 to 71. Yeah, I mean, they, Eight, actually 83 to 71. Yeah, they came in and played well. I mean, they, they play like a team looking to bounce back from a tough road loss. So the Phoenix dropped to two and three on the season while the Hatters moved to five and three. Next up for the Phoenix, they hit the road. They'll be at Belmont on Saturday. Their next home game will be here at the Res Center a week from Wednesday. That'll be December 6th as Eastern Illinois comes to town for a seven o'clock game. We'll have all that action right here on ESPN3. It's gonna wrap it up for us. For Cordero Barkley, I'm Ted Stefaniak saying so long from Green Bay where once again the final score is Stetson 83-71 over Green Bay. To watch this entire game on replay as well as other games on our ESPN uh, network, check out watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.